the book of uh, Psalm chapter number one, there is the answer of how you can live a blessed life. Psalm chapter number one, from verse one. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, ungodly counsel, no, standeth in the way of sinners. No, sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Here is the principle being given to us. If you want to live a blessed life, number one, he does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand on the way of sinners. Eh? Stand on the way of sinners. To stand on the way of sinners there, uh, it means that uh, you are hooked up with uh, an ungodly man. You see? Satan is graduating now here from just sending people to advise you to making you hook up or get connected to somebody who is ungodly. A sinner. Somebody who does not know the word of God. Who does not know the spirit of God. Who is far away from God. And that is the person that you have hooked up with. That is your partner. Either in business or in marriage. You're about to see trouble. You are about to see trouble. Satan has decided to have you. And what did he do? He sent you a partner that is ungodly. You are God-fearing. You love God. But then you hook up or you are joined together with somebody who is not God-fearing. Who is going to be a snare and a stumbling block to your relationship with God? You remember what Saul did, what, what, what Saul said uh, about David when he saw David advancing and becoming great and uh, all his plans to bring David down seemed to be failing. What did he say? He said, I'll give, give him my daughter so that he can be a snare. So who are you hooked up with? If that person is a sinner, not God-fearing, I'm telling you, Satan has seen potential in you and he wants to finish you. You are old fashioned. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know what, what this guy does. This guy has got lots of money. You know? Hey. <laughs> You want money, you will see when you get there that money does not give life at all. You have got only one life. Don't play with it. Make proper decisions, godly decisions, wise decisions on how to live this life. And it's very clear in the word of God. How you can have the best life. Somebody was giving money for free. Lots of money. For free. 
and, and one, one, one of my sons was, he came and said, ah, I've never seen this. There is a man in Blawayo whom these other friends of mine who are doing well said he is giving money for free. And for sure they went, they got the money. And some of them have, have got several stamp mills because of money for free. And then he, he came to me and I said, so they approached him, there's money for free. And they said, I've sat on the feet of my father for too long. There's nothing like that. I don't want it. Go and tell the man who is giving money for free that there is a man who needs money, but not this one. And later on, he discovered that this, this guy was a, a cultist. And those that came in for the money, they get registered in that cult. They would have sold their life for money. Be careful. No matter what you desire, get it the God way. Tell your neighbor, no matter what you desire, get it the God way. God was not, was not out of his mind when he said, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Some of you, you look at that scripture and they say, you know, this scripture was written long, 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 long back ago when there was no internet. This is an old-fashioned scripture. You will soon understand. That the only wise God's word, they don't change or they be, don't become weak with time. They are eternal. It's not a blessed life to hook up, to be in partnership with somebody who is not God fearing. You better be a fool to partner with somebody who seem not to be having the skill, but they've got all God in their, in their spirit. All, all of them is God. Very soon, very soon, God will bring you to your place of prosperity. Hallelujah. So Satan will flash a lot of things to catch the weak-minded. Never sell your, your life or your destiny for things that will not last. A sinner is a sinner. He represents God. He represents Satan. Satan is the devil. He is evil. Very soon, you cry. You cry. And regret. Therefore, I disconnect you from evil men and evil women. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are disconnected. Say a bigger amen. amen. And I bring a blessing of a man, a blessing of a, a woman to you for a partner. Either in business, in marriage, have a blessed God-fearing man. Have a blessed God-fearing woman to partner with in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Anybody that does, 
who is not God fearing is 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 a, is a bundle of uh, poison coming your way. Anybody that might look weak, but they are God fearing. Give it time. As we teach the word like this, as we teach the word like this, very soon you will look at them and they will say, God is good. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen.